Hey everyone, welcome to Carmelite Readings. I'm Alexandra, also known as Karma. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to click on this video. If you're new here, welcome. Please make sure you subscribe, like, share. Um, if at any time this reading does resonate with you guys, go ahead and hit the like button so that we can have that exchange of energy. This is gonna be a collective reading. Um, I didn't get to do a lot of readings last week. This pre-shadow phase of Mercury going retrograde is the um, technology over here where I'm living, we can't even watch TV. Like our internet keeps going out every 10 minutes. It's really annoying. Um, so I figured I'm gonna just do a couple collective readings today um, instead of zodiac signs. That way I can kind of get all of you guys across the board and see what comes through. Um, like I said, if you're new here, welcome. <clears throat> Please keep in mind, energy is fluid. It really just depends on where you are at on your journey, healing journey, uh, spiritual journey, relationship with God. That's going to help you determine how you resonate with this reading, past, present, or may start to manifest as you continue on this journey anywhere between now and the next three months. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get started with my blessing and prayer, and then we'll see what messages the Holy Spirit has for you and what collective we're tapping into. Mother, Father, God, Divine Holy Spirit of the Most High, thank you for allowing me to be a clear channel of receiving messages for the collective that is tuned in and watching this video. I ask that these messages pertaining to their life situation and soul journey provide guidance, clarity, healing, and understanding, as well as higher knowledge and perception on what karmic cycles and soul lessons they may currently be going through, about to go through, need to become aware of, learn from, heal from, and release. Lord, in all that you are and all that you do, in all that I am, in all that I do, I live by your word and your word only. In Yeshua's name I pray, amen. I, a white bird <clears throat> just flew by my window. So I don't know if that's a symbol for someone, a white bird. I mean, my instinct was to say a dove, but I'm pretty sure it was a pigeon. Um, but I, I just find it interesting. I'm only laughing because I find it interesting that in my Claire audience, I, I'm just hearing dove, 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 but I, I know it was a pigeon. Um, so maybe a dove is of significance of you or something that you're going through peace is needed if you've you know are going through a, a difficult healing time or just needing reassurance from spirit from god um or maybe maybe you're sitting outside somewhere and you're feeding pigeons right now who knows somehow some way that reference should resonate for you let's see messages please for the collective watching what do they need to know about their current life situation? Ooh, two cards just flew out. Expect powerful change, new moon eclipse, which we are in. I am filming this on May 2nd, 2022. And then void, of course, moon. Nothing will come of this situation. The situation that you're inquiring about or healing from um, like the energy that I'm getting from these two cards, expect powerful change, but nothing will come of this situation. Kind of sounds like an oxymoron, but really what I'm getting from this is whatever the situation is, what it, whether it's a friendship, a love, family, work, it, it was painful. The purpose of the situation was not for what you are focused on. You're focused on something on the outside. You're, this The purpose of this situation was for you to see something within yourself or a reflection on yourself. And Spirit is saying, stop thinking about the outside aspects of what you're going through or other people or how can I solve this with this person or that. Spirit's like, nothing's going to come of any of that. This is a situation that is only dealt with between you and God. So... I feel like this eclipse is showing like there's going to be a change that takes place in a way that you're not expecting at all. Messages, please. Step out of your comfort zone, North Node. 
Uh, right now, Taurus is in North Node, which it is my North Node, so it is a very big year uh, for Taurus. <clears throat> um, this is about you. <laughs> if you have an attachment to something, if you have an attachment to something or an outcome in regards to your growth and your situation, let me clarify, it's okay for you to have a dream, a plan, and a goal. Of course, but you also have to understand that that dream, that plan, that goal is yours. God's going to modify it for you, right? Because he wants better for you, more for you, and he knows what you're capable of. Um, I feel like where you're going, this these people can't come or this situation can't come. That's why it's saying nothing will come of this situation. You need to step out of what you've always been in it hasn't taken you has it to where you want to go communication is key what's important and then you also have full moon in scorpio it's time to release negativity so you have gemini and scorpio energy coming through so for you during this eclipse what's going to be highlighted i feel is really um how you communicate not only with others but with yourself with god what are your manifestations what are your dreams what are your goals there's a change taking place within you i just had this conversation with taurus i think um in last week's reading it's the renewal of your mind it's the cleansing of your mind okay um, you're stepping out of who you once were. And I feel like with this eclipse, you're really going to see a shift in how you see life, how you communicate in your thoughts, what you write down, how you speak to God, how you speak to yourself, how you speak to others. There's a transformation, a death and a rebirth taking place in your forms of communication. I'm hearing pause and reflect. So I feel like um, I actually heard stop, drop, and roll, which is making me laugh because they're trying to, sh like, I see what they're showing me though. It has to do with your communication where it's like some of you may be, <laughs> it's so funny how you can receive messages. Um, but yes, so you, you may need to catch yourself more when in a difficult uh, situation with communication, if someone's getting angry at you or someone's casting blame on you, um, maybe you're usually quick to fly off the handle, but what you're learning is how to stop, drop and roll, but is, is how to pause and reflect and gather yourself. Like you're not wanting to just fly off the handle anymore. You're releasing parts of yourself that are heavy, that are burdened, that are negative, right? low vibrational energy it is requiring you to step out of your comfort zone which lets me know that you may experience turbulence and difficulties speed bumps along the way don't let that be a discouragement to you that's what i'm i'm feeling like don't allow that to discourage you from still wanting to <clears throat> push forward and change Whatever situation, whatever you're holding on to right now, here's what I'm seeing. You know that you're going somewhere. And the only reason, I just want you to know that the only reason why you haven't fully stepped into the new energy is because you won't fully let go of what needs to be let go of. I think there's still some type of like hope within that either this person or this situation is just going to like flip a switch and turn around. And so... I feel like you're more than one foot in the new door, the new life, the new portal, but you're like keeping your back toe hanging in the past because you want this other thing to come with you. It's not coming with you. You know, I don't, I'm not trying to be a bearer of bad news or trigger anyone, but at this point in time for the collective I'm connecting with, it's not coming with you. And that's a, a lesson in itself, okay, for those of you experiencing that, because uh, what a challenge then to shift your mindset and release negative thoughts on a situation that is probably hurtful now 
when realizing that you have to leave something or somebody behind, right? Because that causes pain. And then that causes negative thoughts or self-talk or being upset or resentment. So, but I feel like the reason why it's playing out like that, put it like this. This is what spirit is showing me, especially if we think of everything going on astrologically right now as well. With this eclipse coming in, I know you may have wanted this person or this situation to come with you, but what's being shown to me is the things that happened had to happen this way to trigger you and bring you this pain. Because the majority of you that are resonating with this, when you get triggered by this person or this situation and you feel the pain, you notice that other things come up with that pain, past things prior to this situation or this person. Some of you are going way far back to parents and childhood and, and things that caused you pain and you're making connections. And as difficult as it is, and as much as we wanna be like, I get all of that, but I still wanted this, or spirit is saying, just gotta release it. You went through it to go through this healing because they're trying to transform you. You're going somewhere that not everybody can go. You have your own destiny. That's the difference between fate and destiny. Stay in your fate. Spirit is saying nothing is going to come. Nothing's going to come of this situation. Release the negativity. Step out of your comfort zone. How are you communicating? If you're having a difficult time, do you tell God, I'm having a difficult time. Help me. You can ask him for what you need. You need to be more clear. For somebody here specifically, you don't ask. There's a collective here that when you were a child, your needs, were, I mean, all of us had needs that weren't met, but this collective specifically pertains to communication. Like you were told to be quiet. You weren't able to express what you needed. You weren't able to ask for what you were needed. You were told to be quiet. You were told to hush. So you know, it was, um, now you're in this energy of not even knowing how to ask for help from God. That's got to change. Let's see what we have here. Recent past, you have the Five of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, and the Nine of Pentacles. Current energy, you have the Two of Swords, the Ace of Wands, and Strength. What's coming towards you in the future? You have the Universe, the Ten of Swords, and Justice. Wow, a justice over, over the ending that you don't want to have. Overall energy on the bottom of the deck is the Five of Wands, the Queen of Wands, and the Six of Swords. Again, there's a lot of arguing here with oneself, one's purpose and destiny. I feel like you're creating challenges for yourself, fighting with yourself, um, and you're unable to properly transition and let go and move forward. Some of you may have moved or want to move. You're wanting to release yourself from a certain situation. Some of you may be dealing with a fire sign. We have Leo on the table. There seems to be conflict because I also have the Queen of Wands, okay? Could be any fire sign, doesn't even have to be, but this may resonate more for those. But you have the Five of Wands and the Queen of Wands together. There seems to be a lot of conflict here. For some of you, I feel like this does show up on the outside as well as internally, but you are having some type of disagreement or unable to see things eye to eye with this Queen of Wands. And she also kind of has her back towards the arguing. So this may be you or maybe the other person. I'm just going to read the energy and you can place it where it belongs. Um, there's pride and ego coming from both parties here in this situation. And it's why, it's why nothing will come of this situation. <laughs> um, both of you individually have your own truths here. Someone seems to be a little bit more aggressive and, um, argumentative than the other. There may have been a third party issue involved in the situation um, and the conflict 
is in regards to walking away. I'm seeing this in several different ways. Um, either wanting to know that the other person has ended it with the third party, wanting to know that it's over. There's like concern that maybe they're still talking to the third party. Okay, keep in mind, you guys, third party does not mean another relationship. This could be <clears throat> multiple job offers for somebody in the job thinks you're looking. I mean, you gotta place it where it belongs in your life, but it, there could be a third party issue with the three of cups here in regards to somebody walking away or transitioning fully. In the recent past, you have the Five of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, and the Nine of Pentacles. It just really looks like somebody abandoned their dream come true. The Five of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups, there was a lot of um, hidden happiness between you and this Nine of Pentacles, which could be you and the other person or the other person, you know, vice versa. A lot of attraction here. There was a little bit of overindulging between the two of you. Could have just been on emotions and feelings. Could have been, you know, drugs and alcohol, spending money, whatever it was. Um, but there was a lot of emotional fulfillment between the two of you. And somebody literally just jumped ship. Five of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. It was like, oh, I'm so happy. I'm out. And... That threw you guys into a karmic cycle that neither of you were expecting. This is taking a turn. Whoever left this situation, it was a very good situation. They should not have walked away, but they walked away from fear. They couldn't see clearly. This person was coming from a place of lack. They couldn't see the light. They were trying to. Things were very, very off balance. I feel as though there was also that this person hadn't dealt with inner wounds. They didn't know how to let themselves be happy or they didn't feel like they deserved it. They didn't feel like they deserved it. Clarify this Five of Pentacles, please, for the past. I feel like you may have been ghosted or abandoned by someone. They just kind of disappeared here. Yeah, the star, the veil, and the Two of Pentacles. Um, this person had a really difficult time making decisions. They may have been, again, third party juggling here. But it's like they just made a decision one day to walk away. Um... They were not able to see things clearly or to see you and this connection for what it was. I think that you did. I think that you were able to see things clearly. But again, like I said before, the purpose and the reasoning for these things happening to you was for you to heal. It was to trigger you to lift the veil in your own life, for you to discover emotional fulfillment on your own. That was the purpose of this, this situation. It's why it came into your life. I feel like because you experienced so much happiness with this person, it was like a really big blow. But again, what Spirit is showing me is they wanted you to experience that level of bliss and happiness with this person because then you wouldn't have learned how big of a loss it was. You wouldn't have learned how to heal yourself. You wouldn't have learned how to pick yourself back up. You're, you're learning a, a, such a valuable life lesson right now about transformation and transition and the art of letting go and allowing yourself to truly fully grow and align into your purpose. Is it painful? Absolutely. But it's so worth it. Um, current energy is the two of swords, the ace of wands and strength. There is definitely no communication and there is a blockage with this two of swords. But I'm getting a mixed energy again because it's a mutual reading here for the collective. So I'm trying to see it from all avenues. Um, I feel like it's taking a lot of strength for both of you to not reach out and communicate. I think that you want to. There is a definite need here for some type of apology um reconciling differences is what's wanted but 
I'm feeling an energy of like one person is it recognizes that there's growth and change taking place and it's more like they don't want to disturb their peace right now. And then the other person, I feel it's more that they know that they were in the wrong. They're not ready to reach out. They're not in a place yet to reach out they, or they're not ready to apologize. Clarify the two of swords and the ace of wands, please. Thank you. You have the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Wands and the Page of Pentacles here. I know these are two queens, but right now I'm not really feeling like this is about two different people or a third party. How Spirit is showing this to me to clarify the Two of Swords is I feel like somebody's heart chakra here is blocked from their purpose. There's a direct disconnect between passion and emotions here. Somebody's very blind to what is taking place or what has taken place. Um, I feel like there's a struggle with making a decision here. Somebody doesn't it is struggling with their purpose in life. Why am I here? What am I supposed to do? So maybe that's another reason why there's this disconnect and nobody's reaching out. Um, I feel two energies here, you and another person, possibly this person that you dealt with in this situation, um, going through a massive transformation. There's a deafening silence, like radio silence here between the two of you, I think even you used to feel this person's energy. You don't feel any of it anymore. Um, and that is on purpose and that's from the divine. And the reason for that is this is a time of reconciling with one's self. Um, I feel like this other person who's not watching this reading, I feel like that person is wrestling with a lot of demons right now. They're finding their strength. I feel like those that are watching this reading may currently be coming out of or you're about to end wrestling with your demons you're learning to reconcile your demons whereas opposed the other energy is in it and doesn't understand what to do right now there's no turning back once once you hit the strength card your whole life changes once you hit the strength card, your whole life changes. Because you can't go back. Once you know something, once you become aware of something, once you learn how to tackle something, you know, and I feel like you are reconciling with yourself, with your own differences, with what you've been through, with what you've experienced. You're learning to stand in your strength. You're learning to find a lot of um, healthy pride in who you are. You're feeling very good about yourself, all right? The outcome is the universe, the Ten of Swords, and justice. There's going to be a blessing, a karmic reward. The scales are being set even in regards to this betrayal and this ending. Something ended. We see that. Expect powerful change. Nothing will come of this situation. It's time to release negativity. This is a past situation. Even if this person were to come towards you now, what happened between you was past and now would be new. Do you see what I'm saying? I mean, I'm not saying don't talk about the past if, if you need to, to figure things out, but I feel like this has happened before between you guys in like past lives possibly during this lifetime, but I mean, even past, past lives, because you have a lot of tens here, okay? Um, and so there's a lot of cycles that needed to be cleared out. There was a lot of karma between you and this person or this situation. For some of you, this is a rotating cycle and pattern that has followed you. And I feel like this energy has jumped into different people trying to block you from your destiny here 
Clarify the universe with the Ten of Swords. For the collective, please. You may be dealing with a very difficult battle right now within yourself as well, but I, I feel like you're coming out of it. It's because karma is being reset. You're about to receive a blessing. Ace of Wands. Forgiveness, repentance, um, reconciliation, you know, and, and all of this is to turn away from what, who and what you once were. When you apologize and reconcile something within or repent, it's to remove that energy from within you and become pure again so that you can create and manifest a new beginning. Step out of your, step out of your comfort zone and communication is key. There is a situation that you have to let go of because it, it, it's done. And I feel like neither one of you are able to fully transform. Whether that means for you and this person to come back together or to continue in your own past, there has to be proper closure. This particular collective that I'm connecting with did not get the closure that was needed. They still don't have it. And I feel like it's difficult because you're trying to do it on your own. Spirit recognizes that because there's definitely someone here who is unable to let go. Okay, so this is a collective reading. It's either for you or the other person is struggling letting go. Now, if it's you and you know you can't let go, you need to start doing um, cord cutting prayers and, and, and affirmations that you release this person. You need to tell God, tell the Holy Spirit, I do not want attachments to this person. Help me to let go. It is not an easy process. So, and I, and I always, you know, make sure I tell the truth, but if you are serious about healing and cutting these cords, don't expect to ask for it and just one day you wake up and it's gone. You're going to need to purge. Um, you know, you're going to need to purge and sometimes it can take a week. Sometimes it can take more. You might need to cry a lot and get it out. You might need to exercise more to get that energy out, stretch more. But if you're serious about it, this is what you need to do because you have a blessing and a reward that's trying to come in for you. The karmic scales are trying to be reset. Now, if it's this other person and you've been doing this work and you've been healing in spirit, because I see a message here that spirit sees that, they're gonna just step in and help because this person, I do see an energy of somebody really manipulating the energy. You may be dealing with like a magician energy here. Um, narcissists, they're holding on to the energy um, or they are very, 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 very focused on your crown chakra and trying to send you messages telepathically. For some of you, it's dissipated already where you're not so much thinking of this person where before it was a lot, spirit has stepped in. If you fit into that and it hasn't gone away yet, it is. So let's just get um, closing messages, please, for the collective. What's coming in with this justice? What's coming in with this justice card? I feel like whoever, if somebody did you wrong, well, they did because they just like bounced on this really good connection up here. Um, they're, they're like under divine review right now. Their case is being reviewed. And that may be why some of you haven't received the relief yet. Clarify this, please. Clarify justice. The emperor... Oh, and the five of pentacles. So I think I tapped into a DM here. Now we're at the end of the reading, but this may be a toxic divine masculine, okay, who um, did not do what they were supposed to do in terms of breaking down their ego and listening to God and, and aligning themselves, healing and removing themselves from toxic environments. I see that coming through here. Again, there is somebody who really is struggling to pull themselves and move themselves out of a place of lack. They're in a very, very dark place. They don't see how much damage they're causing. I do feel like the collective that is watching this, this is happening to you. This is the other person. So your overall message here is you have to let it go because at this time, this person is not where they need to be. 
This person is not where they need to be. They're not able to meet you at the level that you're at. This is holding you back. And I know that that's difficult. I know that you may have high hopes or want this person to come with you, but now is not the time. Now is not the time. All right, I'm sending you much love.